Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of summarizing numeric data. This is standard 6.12c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 25 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a list of employees. There's nine of them, so there's nine numbers. And we need to find the range. This is our vocabulary word, and if we don't know what this is, we're going to have a little bit of problem with this. What we probably can figure out, even before we do anything, is we probably need to reorder this list from greatest to least, or least to greatest. I always prefer least to greatest. So let's do that. So let's start with our smallest number. So we've got three, I'm just going to kind of mark them off here. Six, those are our one-digit numbers. Looks like 14 is next. And then we've got 17. Let's see, 23. Looks like we've got two 26s. And then we've got a 30, 54. All right, so we've got nine numbers here, and we need to find the range. Well, the range, this is the difference. This is just a vocabulary term we are going to have to memorize. It's not on our formula chart between the, the greatest and the least, the greatest minus the least. And so we're simply going to take our greatest, our 54. We're going to take our least three we're going to subtract the two and well, guess what we're going to get 54 minus three that's going to give us our 51 and that's going to be our answer now where do all of these other options come from well let's take a look as all of these other numbers can be found a b c or d if you look for something other than the range you might have been looking for the median so the median is the middle number, and this is actually an odd data set. There's an odd number, which means there's actually going to be a number in the middle that will be the median. If it's an even data set, sometimes you have to kind of average or find a number between two middle numbers. But take a look at this. This has got nine numbers, which means it's going to be this fifth one. So one, two, three, four, five, this right here. That's actually our median, because there's four numbers to the left, four numbers to the right. So 23 is the median, but we're looking for the range, so that is not going to be it. You might even have been looking for the mode. So the mode is the most popular, the most chosen. Whichever one shows up the most. And really, there's only one number that shows up more than once, and that's 26. So you get two 26s right here, and that would be our mode, but we are not going to choose that because we were looking for the range, not the mode. Now how do we get this 18? Well, we can get this 18 if we look for something really complicated called the interquartile range, or the IQR. So you see this range here, so it's the difference but it's not the difference between the greatest and the least, like the range. It's the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. Now, what are the quartiles? Well, remember here that we've got this median right here. So we now have our uh, data set split in half. Well, what we need to do is we need to take each of those halves and cut them in half. This first half has got four numbers, so if we want to cut it in half, it's going to be right here. This is my quarter one, which means I need to find what is the midpoint between that 6 and that 14, and that's going to be 10. So I'm going to say Q1 is 10. And then this second half has got these four numbers. Here's my Q3. I need to find this midpoint between 26 and 30, and that's going to be 28. So if you subtract 28 and 10, you're going to get this 18. But our answer is B51.